When you're networking with a large group, you want to make sure that you're not considered to be too aggressive. You also want to make other people feel smart. So my two pieces of advice for this is when you approach that large group, make sure that you approach them at a 45 degree angle so that you don't close them off and you don't feel as if you're inhibited in their, their movement. Uh, secondly, you also want to make sure that you listen more than you talk and that you should always be the second person to talk in the conversation because this will indicate to the person that you're speaking with that they're important. Two major suggestions I have if you have to interview over video. Number one, know where the video is going to pick you up. And this is one of the first things that I ask someone when I'm getting filmed myself. Will it pick me up here? Will it pick me up closer to my chin? And the reason why is if you're gesturing with your hands and the hands are going in and out of the screen, you're going to distract the person that you're talking to. Video also will truncate your body images. Uh, there's typically the expression that when you're on television it will add 10 pounds. One of the reasons why is it flattens images. You have to fake a 10% smile if you want to look like you have a neutral expression. So for instance, if I have a neutral facial expression, when it is communicated through video visually, it will look like I'm frowning. Now this might not sound like a big thing, but if you take this to the professional workplace, if you're a CEO of a multinational company and you have a neutral facial expression, the TV viewers at home will think you're frowning and they be, might be more likely to sell their stocks in your company.